time for another edition of the Pirates Cove. We have Coach Richardson and the AD, Ben Hicks, with us today. And I'm so excited, Coach. The boys already kicked everything off, and they won in grand style. Talk about it. They did. Well, one thing about it, I was really impressed um, on how well coached they were. Um, I felt like Bird has, Coach Bird has, has done a good job. Um, in a short amount of time to to prepare our guys for the season. Um, but they look great, you know, both offensively, defensively. Um, you know, they, they start off kind of slow. Of course, you know, first game of the first, season. First game of the season. Playing Ryan home. Playing Ryan They put a little D on them, yeah. It, exactly. So, That's what they needed, though. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, Bird did a great job of, of making um, adjustments, you know, throughout the game. and. Um, as you know, they, they won by a large margin and Oh yeah, it was a blowout. Blowout. And um so so I was, I was pleased with it. You know, I was happy with it, you know, happy with you know the effort the guys um gave both on the offensive end and the defensive end. Coach, we could tell you it made a uh, right decision getting Coach Bird on how he carried himself on the sidelines. Mm -hmm. uh, we watch a coach and when he got upset a little bit, he called a timeout. He's a little low key than you are. <laughs> amped up, baby. But he really brought the team in and got his point across. So the next time they went on the court, they didn't do that again. Correct. And throughout the course of the season, they will get better right. and better. And he's so excited about it. He got his first win. But coach, tonight. Yeah. They're, tonight, though, what's going on? Well, they're on the road um, in Mississippi. They're playing against a, uh, a, a good Mississippi Gulf, Gulf Coast yes, team. Yes, sir. Um, but, you know, I, I feel as though they are prepared. Oh, yeah. um, Coach Bird has done a great job of, of game planning and watching film and breaking down Mississippi Gulf Coast. And uh, I'm excited. You know, I'm excited to watch the yes, game. Yes, sir. Um, and, you know, of course, they have another game the following day against Pearl River, which, which they're hosting the, 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 the Invitational. And Pearl River is one of the top JUCOs in the country. So, And you can't grow unless you play the best. You have to play the best. You need to play the best when you get toe up or, or you surprise them and beat them. That's how you can know where your team is. Absolutely. You can't be playing a little weak when you got to play some of the best. And we're so proud the Pirates are representing us in that invitation. Yes, that sir. is outstanding, yes, Coach. Sir. And, you know, on the road you grow a little bit as a team. You do. Because you're on the bus, you got to talk to each other, right. you got to become a, right. what you say your word? Family. Be become a family. And people don't realize how hard it is to actually go on the road to, to play games. People, you know, look at the, the actual game. They don't understand the preparation, you know, uh, no, pre-game meal, post-game meal. Oh, hotel, a lot around. goes into that. That's a lot. A lot of planning that you've been doing for years yep. and Coach Bird and Coach Richardson. That's why it takes experience. Some of the games are lost before the players even Absolutely. get there. Yes, sir. A player sitting there hungry he needs something to eat. Right. He don't play right. good. Right. Uh, either he had a disgusting place to sleep at or he's tired right. in his mind. Mental preparation is a lot in it doesn't matter, JV, uh, I mean, ju junior college basketball, or uh, Division One. Correct. it doesn't matter. Correct. And how the coach prepares the team Correct. before they get before there they get is there. very important. And that's why I know you selected some of the best of the best Correct. to take over at the Pirates for the men and the women. Correct. So my goal was to, to not only get a good basketball coach, and people have to understand you have to get someone that knows how to run a program. Yes. And, and like I said before, academics and community come first and basketball comes, exactly. comes last. But if you if you're prepared student you're athlete. Around, student athlete. So if you if, if you bring in kids that's disciplined off the court and you have a academic plan for, for your kids and you're and you're organized. Yes. Things on the court is going to take care of itself. It's going to smooth itself yes, out sir. because the important always come down to the education. Education comes first. The, uh, the basketball is secondary. Education is first. And, You've always talked about and, that. And, and my president, you know, President Screw, uh, Dr. Taylor, and the administration, you know, made it clear when, when I was hired as a, a a basketball coach and instructor. You know, our goal is to graduate kids. You know, no doubt about it. And, that's it. And that, and that's that's the ultimate goal for the athletic department, like I mentioned before, and I've said it over and over again, I'm proud of them, our student athletes, and this is my opportunity to brag. We had over 50% of our student athletes last academic year to make a commission on the road. And again, that means they finished the, the, the academic year with a 3.0 or better in the classroom. Coach, now that's outstanding. We'll clap about that. I got to clap about that. <laughs> because that's important. That's their future. Right. And also, you're making better men out of these young men. Right. They're having 
they have better characters. And, hey, when I talk to those young pirates, they, they sound much more different than your average athlete. They right. sound intelligent, That's coach. Right. Right. I had a conversation with London. I got me a new friend, a boss man. <laughs> he played such an outstanding game. I want to talk to him, and he sounds like he's excited about being there. Correct. You know, sometimes kids, they fall into an opportunity where they just have to be at a junior college. Right. But these young people are glad to be here. Right, right. And plus, the landscape is different now in, in athletics with, with the transfer portal. And no kids, doubt about and it. Kids can transfer from, from a, a four-year to a four-year without sitting out. So even if a kid qualified a high school and had the grades go four-year, they may not get the look though, or the recruitment that they exactly. deserve. So they, they come to junior college for a year to, um, develop. to, get, to develop and also uh, get re-recruited as well. For the next level. Correct. But when they come to CB, don't let them drop off here, baby. No, the competition no. is on and popping. Exactly. Coach Richardson, we ain't gonna leave you out there. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I'm so excited. The girls are up tonight. Yes. It's opening night. Yes. Opening Talk night. about it. What do you expect out of the Lady Pirates? Talk to me. Well, um, you know, our first, we, we went on the road uh, last, well, two nights ago now, uh, to Lawson. We, we dropped a, a tough one at Lawson. Tell me about um, it. And led for three quarters. Uh, <laughs> three quarters of Coach, the game. Coach, you heard me. You heard me, Coach. Led for three quarters of the game. Three quarters. And, uh, we, we, we got some we got some positive things out of it, but uh, we, we also got some things that we, we got to work on. And that's what, if it's a non-conference game, that's what you're looking for. You're looking to get better. So when you, you take the little things that you, you got positive and we're going to brag on those and we're going to keep trying to do, get better on the things that we do. And uh, the things that we, we, we see negative, we're going to work on them and continue to try to get better. And that's what it is in, in waiting for conference play because that's when it really, really counts. Uh, but uh, last night, the other night against Lawson, great environment. Uh, Lawson had it rocking in there. Electric. They, were, they were ready for the Pirates. The Pirates <laughs> were ready for them. And uh, it was back and forth. It was tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And uh, it, it boiled down to basically free throws. We shot over 40 free throws in the game and uh, we missed 21 free throws. Wow. Of course, we're going to clean that up. <laughs> yeah, we got to clean that up. Cherish, but, right. but the good thing is, that's something that's correctable. Oh, no uh, doubt about it. No so, doubt. so we, of course, you know what we've been doing the last couple of days. Shoot free throws <laughs> over and over again. And over but, again. but what you said, you led for three. Three. Three, three of the quarters. Three of the quarters, yeah. so that means you can hold your own with the best of them. Yes. That means we just gave out a little steam or we didn't make it at the free throw line. Yeah. But that's very exciting to hear that the girls went into a tough environment yes. and held their own. Yes. So that means you've been doing some work there, my friend. We we, we did, uh, you know, and, and some of the girls got a little fatigued at the end. You know, we, we were very limited in the numbers, but I and I, I don't make that as an excuse. I don't let them make it as an excuse. We come to play, you put that jersey on, we expect to win. And uh, so, and that's no different than tonight. We got a good Albany Tech team coming in. Uh, they got a, they got a post player that we're gonna have to deal with. So uh, that what you want, Coach? You yeah, want the that's best it. coming that's and getting ready. We wouldn't have it no other way. But you know, our expectations don't change. I don't care who we playing. We expect to win. We expect you to win. We want you to win. But you said development and you have a, a limited roster. That works two ways. That means everybody get a lot of playing time. So at the end of the season, everybody going to have experience and be ready to roll. Oh, yeah. You yeah. have too many players sometimes. They hadn't hit the court enough. So, you know, it works. And then they're going to be in condition by the end of the okay. season because everybody's been on play. Exactly. So it works. You know, you can take I, that either way. I was I was especially uh, pleased with my two freshmen that started. This was their, this was their first college basketball game. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, Maja Alexander who uh, finished the game with eight, and also Carissa Johnson, who finished with eight. Um, you know, that, that people don't understand the speed of the college game it from changed, the high school. It it's, changes It's completely. a totally different game. Of Each course. level is, is electric. Man. Of course, Haley Sanders, um, we moved her to the point this year. Oh. Uh, so that's, this is a new position for her, but she finished with uh, 19 points, 13 Shoot rebounds. It. 19. And five assists. So, Girl, you know, we, 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 we're getting some progress. It's just going to take a little while for people to adjust in their role. <clears throat> uh, free admissions uh, for, for the entire year. Um, please come out and, and support um, CBCC Athletics.
Coach, say that again. You said free admission the entire free, year. Free admission for the entire academic year. You might got some sponsors or something, Coach. We're, work, we're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> we're working on it. <laughs> well, listen, we're with Coach Richardson and the AD Ben Hicks at CVCC. We've had a very exciting Pirates, Coach.